In this video, we will take a deeper look at conflict. Previously, we talked a little about it. That was the disagreements and problems created in between characters by a dialogue. But this is different. This conflict refers to the main challenge or challenges being faced by a protagonist. There are several types of conflicts that can exist in the storytelling. The two main conflicts are internal conflict and external conflict. And under these are conflicts like man versus self, man versus man, man versus technology, man versus nature, man versus destiny, and many more. Man refers to the protagonist of the story. I will be explaining these conflicts with some movies as example. And obviously, spoiler alert for these movies just in case you haven't seen them. Internal conflict. In this, the main challenge faced by a protagonist is mostly his own personal life's problems. Man vs. Self Fight Club Fight Club is one of the coolest movies in history. And if you haven't seen Fight Club, I highly recommend you to do so. Because if you came to me and said that you haven't seen Fight Club, I would be like... Alright dude, what the flip? Gentlemen! Welcome to Fight Club. Although we're not supposed to talk about it, in this movie, the main conflict is between our protagonist and himself, or spoiler alert, his alter ego. This comes as a surprising twist at the very end or at the climax of the film. Man vs Destiny Predestination Predestination is an awesome sci-fi movie that explores the concept and consequences of time travel. Our protagonist ultimately turns out to be both his own mother and his father due to a series of intricate time travel events. This turns into a grandfather paradox where the protagonist's identity becomes deeply intertwined with the time traveling storyline and thus leading to the realization that they are the same person in multiple points in time. External Conflict In this, the main challenges being faced by our protagonist are from the outside world like the society, the technology, the nature or simply just another man. Man vs Society the Shawshank Redemption. In this film, our protagonist wrongfully gets convicted for the murder of his wife and is thrown into one of the worst prisons of all time. And from this point, we see as he tries to break out from this prison. The entire government and the police at the prison are his main conflict in this film. Man vs Technology Blade Runner 2049 Blade Runner is a sci-fi universe that explores the man versus technology conflict. With Blade Runner 2049 being a sequel that further explores this conflict. In a dystopian future, advanced replicants challenge the boundaries of humanity, and Officer K grapples with his own identity. The film continues to examine the ethical implications of creating artificial life and the consequences of technological advancements in a society marked by decay and existential questions. Man vs Nature Cast Away In this film, our protagonist gets stranded in an island due to an accident. And from this point, we see as he survives in this island for a long time and then tries his best to get back to his homeland. This is Cast Away. Man vs Supernatural Horror and Alien Films all of the horror and alien encounter films have this conflict as the ghosts, zombies or aliens are considered supernatural. It's mostly our protagonist against one of the previously mentioned supernatural beings. Man vs Man The Dark Knight The Dark Knight is often considered as one of the best comic book movies. It's one of the only sequels that was better than its predecessor. In this movie, we see the crime-fighting caped crusader try and stop a clown-faced criminal mastermind from taking down the city of Gotham. It's the Batman vs the Joker. Man vs Man. Oh, and would you believe it if I told you something awesome? 
It's the fact that Interstellar has a piece of all of the previously mentioned seven conflicts at some point in the movie. Though all of the previously mentioned seven conflicts are not the main conflict, the protagonist faced them as challenges to get to his final goal of saving the humanity. It makes me wonder just how genius Christopher Nolan is, considering how he got all of the previously mentioned seven conflicts into his masterpiece of a movie called Interstellar. This is how amazing Interstellar is, and if you are still not planning on watching it, I mean, what in the actual...